Now let's make the first section of this website. Instead of this main content, I'm going to create a new section inside this format. So I'm going to open the components. Let me just close these unwanted files right from here. I'm going to open my component. And here I'm going to create a new file with the name section one dot js that's upon you you can specify any name to this file inside this file i'm simply going to create a react functional component something like this let me get rid of this import statement let me save this back to the index.js and here i'm going to import my components so i'm going to say import section from the components section one so i'm going to say here section one and i'm going to grab that and paste that instead of this h1 heading tag something like this so now when i save the changes i'm going to have this section one between this header and this footer just out of that inside this section one right here instead of this div i'm going to say section and then i'm going to specify some telvin classes here so i'm going to first specify padding y16 so this will specify top and bottom padding then i'm going to create a div inside this section and add h1 heading tag and then i'm going to specify heading to this section which is trending let me capitalize this first letter say this changes and here i'm going to have this trending title then i'm going to specify some telvin classes to this division tag so let me just specify here class names container mx auto md padding x 20. so i'm just going to specify this padding x 20 when the viewport is greater than 768 pixel just for that let me save this to this h1 heading tag i'm going to specify class name font bold text for excel padding bottom 12 and text is going to be center so this will center this text you can notice now let me first open the finished website inside this first section we, we have this h1 heading tag with trending title and then we have this blog post inside this blog post we have the image block category its title subtitle and the author let's create this section in our website so i'm going to just back to the section one and right down here i'm going to create a new blog post section so what i want to do is instead of adding all the blog post code right here let's create a new function here i'm creating this function because i'm going to iterate over this blog post using an array so if you have to iterate over jsx you have to put that in the function so you can iterate over this jsx and pass different values to it i'm going to say here function and i'm going to name it slide because i'm going to put this function in the swiper slider i'm going to specify function name slide later we'll understand how we can add swiper inside the first section just for now let's specify here slide and pass here a function then i'm going to return jsx so we pass here return statement and create a division tag here and then i'm going to call this slide something like this now inside this function i'm going to create two columns in the first column we have this image and in the second column we have this information so here i'm using grid layout so i'm going to specify class name then specify grid so this is going to specify display grid to this division tag and then i'm going to specify md grid calls so I'm just informing that after the MD breakpoint means after the medium size of devices after 768 pixel I want two columns and if the viewport is less than that I want only one column just out of that inside this div here I'm going to create two columns so I'm going to create two division tags here like this the first division tag is for image so we pass here class name image and the second division tag is for the blog information so we pass here info inside this first div right here i'm going to add the image component so we pass here image so we're first going to import the next.js image component instead of using img in next.js we have an image component so we pass here import image from next image and i'm using this image right here so i'm going to say here image like this and to this image i'm going to pass source now because i don't have any image right now i'm going to leave this source as it is and then i'm going to pass here width width is going to be 600 means 600 pixel and height is going to be 600 pixel now if you remove both these properties from this image component then that 
is going to return an error message. Let me show you. If I remove this width and height, you can see image missing requires source property. If I specify here some source property, something like this, then you can notice with source, you must use width and height. Or you can use layout fill property. So whenever you use image component, you have to pass width and height or layout fill. So let me just pass here width and height. Let me save this. So that will just solve this problem. I want to specify image to this source. To specify that, we need to first import images inside this project. So what I'm going to do is inside this public folder right here, inside this public folder, I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to name that folder images. And inside these images, I'm going to put all the images of this project. Don't worry, you can download all these images from this 04 section 1 git branch. So you have to first open your terminal and check out in 04 section 1 git branch. So now once you check in inside this section 1, you need to just check out your public folder and inside that you have images. So once you have your images, let me just use that in this project. To use image in the next JS, you need to specify the relative path to the public folder. So if you have images inside this public folder, then you have to just specify here a forward slash, then specify your images folder and then you specify your image so inside these images right here you can see inside these images we have this img1.jpg so i'm going to specify that here img1.jpg let me just save this you can see i'm going to have my image in the nextjs application nextjs will automatically optimize this image now just out of that once you have your image let me just grab this image and put that inside a link component. So when we click on the image, we can easily navigate a user to the blog post. At the top here, I'm going to say import link from the Next.js link. And I'm going to say here link. Inside that, we have an anchor wrapper, the anchor tag wrapper. And then I'm going to specify href attribute, which is going to be the root route. Later, we'll specify the route path to this href attribute. Just for now. I'm going to leave this as it is, grab this image, cut this right from here and pass that between this anchor tag, like this. Let me save this. So now when I hover on this image, you can see we have this hand icon. And now when you click on this image, it will navigate you to the root route. Just for that, inside this info, right here, we first add the category. So we create here a div with the class name category. So I'm just going to pass here cat. Then I'm going to add here link component and add href attribute to it. It's going to be the default root route. Just out of that, I'm going to add here an anchor tag, something like this. And inside this anchor tag, right inside it, I'm going to specify the categories. So I'm going to just specify here business and travel category. This is just a hard coded value. When we access the data from the database, I'm going to replace this value with the database value. Just for now, I'm going to leave this as it is. Now, let me just save this. Oops, something went wrong. You can notice Next.js is going to return an error message. Multiple children were passed to the link component. Only one child is supported in the link component. If you check out this link component carefully, then you can notice you only have one child, but you're still going to get an error message. This is because you have this space here. Link component is going to consider this space as another component. So in Next.js, when you use link component, you have to take care of this thing as well. So just get rid of this white space, save this file and reload it. Now you can see you have your category. Just out of that, to this category, we specify some classes. So I'm going to specify some classes here. Text orange 600 and hover text orange 800. Something like this. When I save the changes, you can see we have the text orange category. Just out of that, let me copy this link component and paste that just down here and instead of this business travel i'm going to get rid of this business travel and pass here a published date so i'm going to say here hyphen july 3 and 2022 i'm going to get the published date as well and then i'm going to change this color so i'm going to just change this color to gray 800 and gray 600 save this you can see i'm going to have this gray color to this published date now, just out of that, let me create this title, this description, and the author. So, I'm just going to create here, just out of this div. Here, I'm going to add another div. 
and I'm going to name this the title and here I'm going to add a link component with href attribute inside this I'm just going to pass default root route and then I'm going to add here an anchor tag and inside this anchor tag I'm going to put some text so I'm going to just copy this title and paste that right inside this anchor tag let me save this here I'm going to have my title just out of that to this anchor tag i'm going to specify some class names so i'm just going to first specify text 3 excel this will increase the size of this title save this then i'm going to specify md text 6 excel so after the medium size of devices i want this font size and i save the changes you can see it's going to change the font size of this title then just out of this 6 excel we specify font bold text gray 800 and hover is going to be text gray 600 save this here i'm going to have my title you can see and just out of this title we create a paragraph for the description and here i'm going to copy this description and paste that here when i save the changes i'm going to have the description let me just specify some classes to it some tailwind classes so we pass here class name text gray 5 100 as well as we pass padding y 3 this will specify top and bottom padding and right down here we pass the author later we'll create this author section but just for now i'm going to add here h1 heading tag with author save this and as you can see the first section is nearly ready now just for that i want to center this content to center this to this info right here we pass flex justify center and then I'm going to change the direction. So we pass flex column. Save this. This will center this section. Something like this. 